In a small tech hub in Uganda's capital, this team is building AI tools that could change how companies do business. Their software, known as Nixa, functions as a smart sales agent. It automates customer conversations, answers questions and follows up, saving businesses time and reducing the need for large sales teams. All a company or organization has to do is upload their product details to the Nixa platform and the AI takes care of the rest. Them integrating Nixa in their WhatsApp, integrating Nixa in their Facebook account, in their Instagram and all these channels, and Nixa is basically now able to reply to customers. It is able to analyze every conversation and basically determine who is the potential customer, who is not a potential customer, and be able to follow up when it is necessary, be able to determine when a sale is closed. In Uganda, many businesses use social media to attract and talk to customers. Traditionally, this meant hiring someone to respond to inquiries and manage pages. Now AI is stepping in to do the job faster and smarter. For example, if you're working uh, with a school uh, where students come to your website to apply or get more information or parents come to your website to apply or get more information or maybe they are contacting you via WhatsApp. We can actually guarantee a 10 to 30 percent increase in your sales within the first three months. Um, this is because we've seen it happen over and over and so we, the, the impact there is undeniable. Uh, increased sales uh, yet less costs because what happens is that now you don't need more people you just need this AI and a few people that you have to basically maximize yourselves experts say AI adoption in Uganda is just the beginning researchers believe it will take a bit of time for people to adopt it in their workplaces this team at Makerere University is also using AI in this case to detect cervical cancer. But applying automation in the medical field brings more challenges. First of all, they have medical standards. And remember, this is a multidisciplinary research. On one part, we are computer scientists. And on the other part, they are doctors with their standard operating procedures. And now this is a new technology, especially in their domain. Um, so initially acceptability was one of the bigger challenges. Whether in business or healthcare, a few early adopters in Uganda are showing what's possible with AI. As technology spreads, it could reshape how work is done and who does it. Isabel Nakeria, CGTN Kampala, Uganda.